Blaster Cladio Mycota is one of the currently recognized phyla within the kingdom fungi. Blaster Cladio Mycota was originally the order Blaster Cladiales within the phylum Chytridio Mycota until molecular and zoospora ultrastructural characters were used to demonstrate it was not monophyletic with Chytridio Mycota. The order was first directed by Peterson for a single genus, Blastocladia, which was originally considered a member of the Omycetes. Accordingly, members of Blastocladiomycota are often referred to colloquially as chytrids. However, some feel chytrid should refer only to members of Chytridiomycota. Thus, members of Blastocladiomyota are commonly called Blastoclads by mycologists. Alternatively, members of Blastocladiomycota, Chytridiomycota, and Neocolomastigomycota lumped together as the zoosporic true fungi. Blastocladiomycota contains five families and approximately 12 genera. This early diverging branch of kingdom fungi is the first to exhibit alternation of generations. As well, two popular model organisms, Alamyces macrogenus and Blastocladiella emisonora, belong to this phylum. Morphology Morphology in Blastocladiomycota varies greatly. For example, members of Colomycetes are simple, unwalled, and plasmodial in nature. Some species in Blastocladia are monocentric, like the chytrids, while others are polycentric. The most remarkable are those members, such as Alamyces, that demonstrate determinant, differentiated growth, reproduction, life cycle, sexual reproduction as stated above. Some members of Blastocladiomycota exhibit alternation of generations. Members of this phylum also exhibit a form of sexual reproduction known as anisogamy. An isogamy is the fusion of two sexual gametes that differ in morphology, usually size. In Alamyces, the thallus is attached by rhizoids, and has an erect trunk on which reproductive organs are formed at the end of branches. During the haploid phase, the thallus forms male and female game tangier that release flagellated gametes. Gametes attract one another using pheromones and eventually fuse to form a zygote. The germinated zygote producers a diploid thallus with two types of sporangia, thin-walled zoosporangia and thick-walled resting spores. The thin-walled sporangia release diploid zoospores. The resting spore serves as a means of enduring unfavorable conditions. When conditions are favorable again, meiosis occurs and haploid zoospores are released. These germinate and grow into haploid thalli that will produce male and female game tangier and gametes. Asexual reproduction similar to Chytridiomycota, members of Blastocladiomycota produce asexual zoospores to colonize new substrates. In some species, a curious phenomenon has been observed in the asexual zoospores. From time to time, asexual zoospores will pair up and exchange cytoplasm but not nuclei. Ecological roles Similar to Chytridiomycota, members of Blastocladiomycota are capable of growing on refractory materials, such as pollen, keratin, cellulose, and chitin. The best-known species, however, are the parasites. Members of Catenaria are parasites of nematodes, midges, crustaceans, and even another blastoclad, Coelomyces. Members of the genus Physoderma and Euroflectus are obligate plant parasites. Of economic importance is Physoderma maidis, a parasite of maize and the causal agent of brown spot disease. Also of importance are the species of Euroflectus that parasitize alfalfa. However, ecologically, Physoderma are important parasites of many aquatic and marsh angiosperms. Also of human interest, for health reasons, are members of Coelomyces, an unusual parasite of mosquitoes that require an alternate crustacean host to complete its life cycle. Others that are ecologically interesting include a parasite of water bears and the zooplankton Daphnia.